I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and welcome to Home Talk. So today I am going to show you how to take a couple of things that I found from Hobby Lobby and some fabulous foils and we're going to create a really cool sign for our home. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and get our base coat on. I'm going to be using my Bondego in black, which is a paint and primer all in one. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some out on a plate so that I don't have to leave my jar open. And I did take the time to stir it up well to start with because sometimes your paints separate and it's a good idea to get them stirred up. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I love going by Hobby Lobby and all my different craft stores and finding some really fun, cute things to, to work with. So um, this is just, a, was a real inexpensive little plaque. And I'm just gonna base coat it black because that's the color that I want underneath the foil that I'm gonna transfer on here. Um, so to start with, we just have all that good old prep stuff, okay? painting on your base coat, and there's nail holes here, okay, because this is this is not like a $20 plaque. This was like maybe a $5 or $3 plaque, so uh, it's a little rougher, um, and we're just going to cover the whole thing up. So as I am working on this, um, please let me know where you are tuning in from. Say hello. You know I'll be here on the premiere with you, so I'll be watching right along with you, and be here to answer any questions. Um, I know right now that we're doing our social distancing. Um, you can probably find all this stuff online, which also there is a materials list at the top of the screen. So you can hit that button and get a list of all the materials and supplies that I'm using on this project. And then also make sure you hit the follow button so you don't miss any of my upcoming segments. Um, now this is a little bit rougher wood, so I'm not too worried about my brush strokes, but normally once I get my paint laid down, I think you saw I love to go from end to end if I can and do full continuous brush strokes. Um, so we're gonna lay down black on all of our pieces, okay? So um, our word family here that's all cut out and this sign. So this is just gonna take a few minutes of some painting okay and it might need a second coat if we don't get a hundred percent coverage and that is just the fun part of doing all of our prep and like I said there's some nail holes here so I'm making sure paints getting down into those areas as well as I am going to grab a foam brush and get down into these um, little slats okay so I'm going to try to shove a foam brush down in there. Oh, that's gonna work probably the best, okay? So get some color on both sides and just push that foam brush in there. And that way we can get all of that covered because we don't want any of the uh, natural wood tone showing. We want this to be completely black uh, so that our project will look perfect, okay? So make sure that as we're going along, if there's any questions I can answer, um, just ask away, just write your question in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. Um, we have been having so much fun creating all kinds of fun projects for Home Talk. And that is another great thing we love about their new site here on hometalk.com is when you hit the follow button it allows you just to see all the different projects that I have done in the past so you can go watch all my older videos and see what all the different guests are doing on here. So I'm trying to stay save the, um, the twine okay here and try not to get too much paint on it because I still think that'll be cute okay and if I don't like it in the end I could always change that out so we at least have 
one good coat on here. And because I've been making such a mess on my table, I have been getting packing paper out and resting everything on packing paper so that um, my tabletop stays somewhat clean, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, I have painted a few of these, okay? This just takes some time. So be patient when you start this. Realize that your fingers and hands are going to get um, paint it very well, okay? <laughs> I have no way of trying to do this without, I feel like I just cover myself. Um, and sometimes the foam brush is helping, sometimes not. I am not one for spraying, but I'll tell you, this might be one of those projects where it might not be a bad idea to go out there, outside, okay? Not indoors, but outside and just spray this with a couple of good coats of black paint and it would probably go a lot faster. So we'll see how long I struggle with this before I actually go get a can of that black spray paint myself. Um, so again, don't forget, let us know where you guys are tuning in from, and you can watch me paint and paint and paint here, okay? And these are a little tricky because I'm telling you from every side, I think I have it because the sides are a little rougher, okay? They're not as smooth as the wood on top. So I always think I have it all and then I turn it and um, I don't, okay? So make sure that you are painting from this direction as well as turn it completely around and paint from the other direction because you're gonna see everything you missed. And then I keep trying to make sure that I'm not leaving any extra paint around, any blobs of paint, okay, by picking up anything that I'm shoving in those smaller areas so I don't come back and find something I gotta sand off as well. Now, most of the time, the different um, word cutouts that I've gotten, or have purchased, I should say, um, have been larger than my plaques. So I have to also make sure that I'm not only painting the front side, that I'm also painting the back because uh, I don't want anything to show from the other side. Um, I did a really cute one of these for Valentine's Day, and I thought I was taking a shortcut, guys, and I wasn't gonna paint the back of it, but guess where I hung it? I hung it on the back door screen. Well, you could see the back of it, so gotta make sure I'm always painting the front and some backs, okay? <laughs> Don't do what Jennifer did and think you're gonna get a sh do a shortcut there. It looks like we've got a good coat on everything. We're just gonna let this dry and then we'll be back for the next step. Well, I finally got all the black painted and I'll tell you, I think probably using a spray paint would be best for the uh, cutout word because this did take a few co uh, coats and um, a little bit of time just to get the black everywhere. Um, also, as I was flipping over this little um, sign okay here is the um here's the tag from it on it so you'll know it's from woodpile and i believe this was like a hobby lobby um, product okay so now we're going to use foil adhesive and foil adhesive is going to be the product that's going to transfer some really cool foils for us so i always take it out of the jar put it onto um some kind of a palette okay i use foam plates most of the time and we are going to go ahead and apply this to the top of both of these. 
So I'm going to put it on the top of the words here, okay? And I'm trying not to get the foil adhesive to get onto the sides, but if a little bit does, it'll be okay. Um, I can always paint over that, and we are also going to seal over this. So just brush it on. Um, the foil adhesive looks milky white when it goes on, so it's nice because you can kind of see where you're putting it. Um, if you get it somewhere you don't want it, you can wipe it off there. And then as it dries, it'll dry perfectly clear. So you don't, it will not look this white. It'll look clear and shiny. So um, just have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so that's another thing, dry time. Um, so it goes from this milky white to clear and it will take at least um, probably 15 to 20 minutes before it'll start to look clear, but do not, <laughs> do not go to transfer that quickly. Just let it dry for at least 30 minutes to an hour. The longer it dries, actually the better, okay? Um, I like to let my foil adhesive dry for a full hour before I go ahead and transfer. So um, just put your foil adhesive on, set it someplace safe, and then just come back. You can even set a timer so you'll know when you can come back and transfer your amazing foils on there. Okay, I just keep grabbing the foil adhesive when it gets over the edge so that I don't have to clean that up later. So we're gonna put this on our cutout and we're gonna put the foil adhesive on the plaque as well. And then we'll let them set. So I will let this sit for at least an hour before I'll come back and put the metallic foil transfer over. And I can't wait to show you guys the foil transfer because they are absolutely beautiful. Also, I will come back and try to smooth out any of my brush strokes if I can, because um, sometimes the foils will transfer um, those brush strokes. So you wanna try to smooth out all your application marks if you can. Okay, we're gonna let that sit and dry. And now we're gonna grab our plaque. And I'm thinking, I got grabbed a foam brush and I was thinking this would probably just work a little easier so that we can get across these boards on this plaque. And this is definitely gonna be faster than that little brush. But that little brush I thought was great for the wood or the word cutout, okay? Um, So I'm just gonna finish this up. I'm not gonna put the foil on the sides. We're gonna leave everything else black, okay? And um, we'll just get this on here. We'll let it set. And then don't forget, you guys, uh, make sure to hit that follow button. And that way you won't miss any of my up upcoming segments. There is also a materials list so that you can find all the products that I've used easily all in one place. Um, and then I will be watching along on the, um, the premiere with you, so definitely um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, let's let this sit and dry, and then we will be back in a few minutes. Actually, 60 minutes. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're finally to the super fun part, which is going to be transferring our foils, and we have some of the coolest foils here. If you've ever had an issue creating a crackle finish, you're gonna love this foil. It's called our Bronze Copper Crackle. And we're gonna put this on the plaque and then we're gonna use another one, which is called Aberdeen. And this just looks like the most sophisticated faux finish, okay? So I am going to put our word aside, okay? And we'll cut us a piece of foil a little bit longer than the plaque itself. And I'm gonna to try to be careful as I install this so I can save whatever is left over, okay? So we're gonna put that across the foil, okay? And grab our rag to start with, because I always like to smooth out our foils first um, with a rag. And then, we grab our scrubber brush. Okay, so our scrubber brush is plastic bristles. They're stiff, but this is what you want to help transfer the foils. Um, and then also, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna do this because it's kind of noisy. It's not my favorite noise, you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, didn't want you to have to try to listen to me over that. And then we're just gonna pull back, okay? So if we're on a more um, textured surface, okay, the foils don't always transfer 100%. So sometimes we have to get in here and just scrub a little harder so that we can get them down into all that texture, okay? And then pull back and see what we're getting with Once you're done scrubbing, you're just going to go ahead and remove your foil and look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. We have a beautiful crackle finish that is subtle and is going to be a beautiful backdrop for us. So now we can get our cutout family here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab a piece of foil and cut it long enough to go across the whole world, world, <laughs> the whole wor word. Okay, let's, let's try to not say that too quick, okay? Um, and you, you can see, so I'm gonna use my scrubber, or yes, yeah, my scrubber here. These foils like to roll, okay? They like to curl back. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. If it's wanting to curl like this on you, if you crunch them up first, they have a tendency to lay flat, okay? So then you can get it over your surface and they're a lot easier to manage that way, okay? And again, take your rag, smooth it out, and then you'll see it's attaching to the letters, okay? And then again, we're gonna scrub. It's fun to peek, okay, and see how everything is going, and just determine if you want to come back and, you know, get any more transferred, okay? So, if you peek a little bit here and there, you can see how well it's transferring and determine if you want to go ahead and pull it off. Ooh. I thought I kept doing that. I think I missed part of that letter. <laughs> And then we can peek a little bit further here, okay? So you see anywhere where it just, we didn't scrub hard enough, we can lay your foil right back down there. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Okay, let's peek from the other side now. All right, a little bit here. I think we're going to be good to go. Oh my gosh, this looks so wonderful, okay? So we're going to put these two together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a coat of top coat on there to protect all of our foils. And then we're going to come back and um, glue them together. And I think we might be done. So we'll be back in a few minutes. So we just have a couple of final touches, okay? Um, I already went ahead and did a top coat on here with our um, top coat by Golden Paintworks and I used gloss so that I would have uh, the beauty of the shimmering foils and oh my gosh aren't these absolutely beautiful this one that I used on the word family is called Aberdeen and it just looks like a beautiful faux finish so the last thing I gotta do is attach okay so I'm going to figure out the position that I want 
uh, the word to be on here. And then I need to kind of determine, because see, the F isn't going to completely fit, and neither is the Y. So I think I'm going to keep my glue through here and just make sure that I don't put the glue anywhere else. Okay, so that's your final step. I'm using um, Aline's Tacky Glue. It's just one that I have around. And I am just going to put a little bead of this um, on all the letters that I know are going to make it onto uh, the plaque, okay? Because uh, we don't want, we don't want our glue coming off of that. Okay, and I think I had a little bit of that and we'll just go from there, okay? And we could always maybe add more if we need to. Just trying to remember, did anything else come off, okay? <laughs> Um, that's going to be our last thing to do, okay, which then we're going to have this gorgeous piece. Okay, so I'm kind of eyeballing where I thought I had set this down, okay, and then go ahead and stick it in position, and then I'm going to turn it around so that you guys can see, but definitely we need to let this sit for a few minutes and get real secure, but there we go. Um, we'll let this set up and uh, we'll show you where we're putting this in a few minutes. Looks awesome. So again, these are foils, okay, and these foils um, mimic faux finishes and crackle finishes. So they're wonderful to work with. So thank you for joining me here on Home Talk today. Here is our final project. I'm going to give you a good close-up of the foils and hope you enjoyed this project. We'll see you again soon.